Every year, hundreds of thousands of people visit the USS Midway Museum to snap a photo with a fighter jet or to learn about the rich history aboard. It's even inspired some of the next generation of service members. The USS Midway landed on a new chapter June 7th, 2004. 20 years ago, it opened for the first day of business as a museum, bringing out excited spectators ready to see what life was like as a U.S. sailor aboard an aircraft carrier and nostalgic veterans who served on it while it was at sea working to defend the U.S. in Korea, Vietnam, and again during Desert Storm. It's still the same color uh, as, it went, as it was back in 1971. The Florian has not changed. The ship might have a few upgrades today, like interactive exhibits and a packed flight deck, but it still has the same effect on veterans. I flew the A6 Intruder uh, off the USS Midway. The Intruder has a crew of two. There's a pilot and a bombardier navigator. I served as the bombardier navigator. Terry Kraft spent two deployments on the Midway and landed over 300 times on the aircraft carrier. One of those landings was after day one of Desert Storm. And we launched off Midway and we flew into Iraq at low altitude and attacked our targets and made it back to Midway. That was a crazy night. Kraft is still serving aboard the warship. Now the president and CEO of the museum, keeping the ship's rich history alive while also feeling right at home with the privilege of seeing a piece of his dad aboard. This was my dad's squadron during Vietnam. He flew the A-7. Alongside hundreds of volunteers like David Doherty, who keep the Midway's magic going by taking museum goers on tours. This is the Navy E-2C Hawkeye. And telling them all about the aircraft he flew for decades. Standing on the flight deck where I used to fly this aircraft uh, off many times. And in fact, what's nice about the museum is not only is this ship, you know, a ship that I served on and lived here for three years, but this very aircraft I flew a couple of times when it was stationed here at Miramar. But did you ever think that you'd be able to serve again on the ship? No, I never really considered that until, uh, you know, when it got to the end of my, uh, my civilian career, I was looking for something to do to, uh, uh, you know, volunteer, give back to the community, also get me out of the house for a while, so I wasn't <laughs> underfoot all the time. It took 12 years of work behind the scenes to allow our nation's heroes to keep serving aboard the aircraft carrier. The warship was decommissioned in April 1992, but remained in Bremerton, Washington until 2003 when it was donated to the San Diego Aircraft Carrier Museum organization. We stuck it out for 12 years to get all the permits and approvals uh, to bring Midway to San Diego. And yet one day we realized that's three times as long as it took America to wage and win World War II. Scott McGaw was a part of the team that helped bring the Midway to San Diego 20 years ago. He says the ship has really taken on a life of her own, becoming an asset, resource, and more. To be part of the team that has developed her, if you will, into a tourist destination and something that really inspires people and educates people, I couldn't be any prouder of her as my daughter uh, if, as if I had one. You can be a sailor for a day aboard the USS Midway seven days a week from 10 to 5. Sierra Encinas, CBC 10 News.